the National Security Council Committee discusses the political situation in Sudan. The Transitional Military Council in Sudan receives a message from President Kiir. And Minister of Labor calls on strengthening the private sector to provide job opportunities. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to SSBC Live from Juba. I'm Elizabeth Akolda-Malat, taking you through the news. In our today's stories, the National Security Council Committee in an extraordinary meeting shared by President, shared by President Kiro on Thursday discussed the political situation in the Sudan. Speaking to SSBC, the Minister of Information, Michael McQuilluet, said they acknowledge Wednesday's visit by a South Sudanese delegation to Khartoum to deliver a message from President Kiro to the Transitional Military Council there. The agenda of the meeting was to discuss, to evaluate and discuss the developments that are taking place in, in the Sudan, and especially uh, after the, His Excellency the President had taken uh, an appreciated move by sending a delegation headed by Tut Galwak, sent a delegation yesterday to Khartoum to go and uh, meet the, the chairperson and the members of the of the military, of the military council, and uh, the, the military council welcomed the, the the delegation, and uh, they really talked to them. And uh, they, they, uh, the, our team, assured the assured the members of the council the support of the government on the actions which they have taken. It is worth mentioning that uh, what happened actually in Sudan is not a coup. But it is the army that decided to side with the people of Sudan in support of the people of, South, of Sudan so that peace prevails in the Republic of, South, of the Republic of Sudan. So the government appreciates that and supports that because uh, there, will be, there, is no, there was no need for more bloodshed, bloodshed at a time when issues were supposed to be addressed amicably. Uh, at present, we urge the the, the professionals and, and all those who are in the streets of, of Khartoum to, to sit down and negotiate with the council so that they can amicably resolve their problems and, uh, and a government is established. It was mentioning also that the, uh, the, 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 the council decided to, to make contacts with other countries so that uh, they are mobilized behind the, 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 the council so that uh, there is peace and stability in the area. Now, a two-day women leadership workshop on affirmative action adherence by the signatories to the revitalized peace agreement concluded in Juba on Thursday. In his closing remark, Vice President Dr. James Wan Iga called on South Sudanese to embrace peace and desist from tribalism and nepotism. Dr. Iga urged women to join hands with the government to implement the peace agreement. The chairperson of West PLM Women, U women League, Anne Lino, said the workshop brought women from different political parties who were trained on the dissemination of the peace agreement. The program coordinator for Global Empowerment for Poverty Alleviation, Paul Onek, said they would continue to provide training opportunities to women leaders in South Sudan. Indeed. There are numerous provisions of the revitalized peace uh, agreement that affect the day-to-day -day political and socio-economic life of our ladies. The majority of them had positive bearing on our women, however. Uh, we must joyfully embrace the revitalized agreement. We must disseminate information regarding, uh, uh, regarding them uh, through equipping elected women and opinion leaders with an in-depth understanding and knowledge of the entire agreement, particularly the subject matter on affirmative action to enhance gender inclusivity, uh, especially under Chapter 1. Uh, some of the sections uh, in this agreement I wish to include uh, you already really talk about, uh, since there are few, I'm sure we are all aware about them. 
So number one is the 35% uh, percent participation of women in the executive. And the, the, the section is uh, clear, one uh, for poor, poor. And there is another sector, uh, section also in the same chapter one, section one, twelve, two. Point two. We are here to understand uh, what the, the revitalized agreement say, and especially on issues to do with women. It's not because we all only love ourselves and not, don't love the country, but because of the disparity between the women and men in this country. That is why we have come to understand even more, to have an in-depth understanding of the affirmative action, the 35%. And then, coming together from different political parties, we managed to go, we had an opportunity to go through it all. And uh, as we, 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 we were taught how to, uh, to lobby and to advocate, we are starting it from here now. Yes. Your, Your Excellency, if we see the 35%, starting from the presidency, the presidency who have six people, the president plus uh, five vice presidents, out of six, only one is a woman. Which means the 35% is not there. Yes. Yes. So we are about 15%. This particular workshop, which has been for two days, uh, of course had the backing of this particular agency called uh, Urgent Action Fund. Uh, the workshop basically targeted women leaders from different political parties, particularly those that are signatory to the Refederalized Agreement on the Resolution uh, on Conflict in South Sudan, Ara Axis. And the main aim of bringing these women leaders from the different political parties was to engage them to have an insightful understanding on uh, uh, the affirmative action, the 35% women representation that is enshrined in Chapter 1 of the agreement. And not only that, we thought this gathering would actually help build this women's momentum towards uh, facilitating them to roll out uh, the uh, dissemination of information on the very same refinalized peace agreement that was signed. President Kiir said his government would exert efforts to ensure that peace, economy recovery, stability and prosperity return to the Sudan. In a letter delivered to the show of the Transitional Military Council, General Abdel Fatih Al-Burhan by the Presidential Advisor on Security Affairs Stuttgart Lok, reaffirm the commitment of the people and the government of South Sudan to end the political crisis in the Sudan. Gori Anthony reports from Khartoum. Peace and stability in Sudan means a lot to people of South Sudan. As a high-level delegation headed by Presidential Advisor on Security Affairs, Stuart Galwak, delivered President Kiri's message to the Sudanese Chair of Transitional Military Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan. The move, according to the official, is to drum up support for stability and tranquility in Sudan. He congratulates each and every one of you and the leadership of the Sudanese Professional Association for what is truly a great achievement. The president who has been a freedom fighter and a revolutionary himself, he is sympathetic and he supports all the revolutionaries in the Sudan, especially those who are in the street and the armed forces. The President Kiri's message read to the media outlet by the Minister in the Office of the President, Maika Ideng, congratulates the leadership and people of Sudan for what it described as a truly and a great achievement. We fall and rise together as people, and at this time, at this critical time, the people of South Sudan firmly stand together with the Sudanese people through their transition. The President has offered to mediate the ongoing negotiation among the various groups in the Sudan with the hope that the new transition will usher in a new day in Sudan where peace, unity and territorial integrity and sovereignty of the people of Sudan are ensured. 
The letter added that people of South Sudan and Sudan are bounded by blood, share history, bother and drink from the same source of Nile, which indicate that a fall and a rise together as people and at this critical time, the people of South Sudan families stand together with the Sudanese people through their transition. A stronger and a closer tie with their brothers in, and sisters. The president and the entire government shall spare no movement or effort to ensure the return of peace and economic prosperity to both countries. Specifically, the president supports wholeheartedly the leadership and the whole body of the Sudanese Professional Association as it seeks to restore democracy and peaceful transitions. President Kir pledged to offer mediation in the ongoing negotiation among various groups in Sudan with the hope that new transition would usher in a dawn of peace and stability in Sudan. The presidential advisor on security affairs, Trude Galwak, who headed the delegation, said that the Transitional Military Council under Abdel Fattah al Burhan assured the government of South Sudan the peace agreement that was signed in Khartoum, as well as the flow of oil, will not be disturbed by the ongoing revolution in Khartoum. <laughs> بتعلق الدولتين وأكد الأقوال التزامه باتفاقية بتاع خرطوم لقضايا حل قضايا جروب السنة وأكد لحد البترول يواصل عمله بأكس وجه رئيس المجلس وزير البترول على دول جروب السنة يزيد من الإنتاج في أبيار بترول عشان يكون شعبين عايشين في أمان وفي استقرار ونحن the high-level delegation headed by the presidential advisor on security affairs Tud Galwak, ministers in the office of the president Maika Yi Deng and Ezekiel Lolgat Koth of Petroleum, as well as the director general of internal security bureau Akol Kur, returned to Juba following the accomplishment of the mission in Khartoum, Sudan. Gori Anthony, SSBC News. The Minister of Labor, Public Service and Human Resource Development, James Hothmai, on Wednesday met with the business persons in Juba. The meeting discussed improving public-private partnership as well as relations between employers, workers and government. Edir Stephen reports. <laughs> The one-day meeting organized by the National Ministry of Labor, Public Service and Human Resource Development is a step forward to highlighting the importance of public-private partnership and improvement of relations between the employers, employees and the government. This is to ensure a harmonious environment for job creation to the public. Addressing the meeting of local and international business communities, employers and employees representatives who gathered in Juba, the Minister of Labor, Public Service and Human Resource Development, James Hosmai said, the strength of any economy depends on the efficiency of its private sector. Private 
منظور ما يشوف نفسه انه كان نعمل بس البيزنس بتاعنا جليش والبروج ولا نجوم واللونات وانت ما بتعرف انه الحاجه اللي كانت تدفع من الاثنين دول لانه انت لما تشغل لك 50 عامل انت بتقول انت ساعتها دوله هنا مشكله في ركوبنا عايزين كمان لا تفتحوا بينزل للجنوبين الثانيين يعني ما تقفل نفسك ل لبيتك ولا لقبيله بتاعك ولا لناس انت بيعرف لا تفتح للجنوبين الثانيين مو بيعمل لك شغل كويس التجنيد نحن كمان عايزينكم انه تعمل شغل فوق كويس عشان تقدر انه تشغل الجنوبين الثانيين The minister called on the private sector to create more jobs opportunities and recruit local workers on the basis of their qualification as stipulated in the public service regulations. He cautioned the employers against any malpractices of corruption and nepotism in their businesses which might not make them to prosper. On his part, the head of South Sudan Employees Chamber Andrew Ball said a good treatment of employees by their employers will create a fast track relationship that will lead to success in their businesses. Azul and Mukhassis, Nazim and Mukhassis, we have to be in the line of the Khassis, we have to be in the line of the Khassis, we have to be in the line of the Khassis, but these are lines. In the line of the Khassis, we have to be in the line of the Khassis, we have to be in the line of the Khassis. اللي يا جماعه نظم نفسكم اذا لو هننظم نفسنا اذا نظم نفسنا نفسنا بهذا الطريق ما في داعي يعني احنا نشوف بعض فعلا اعداء لكن نشوف بعض لان احنا قاعدين نبني دوله وصوت الدوله ده لازم يستمع في اي منبر دولي اي منبر دولي الصوت بتاع الدوله بتاعتنا لازم شنو يسمعوه And the Secretary of South Sudan Chamber of Commerce, Simon Akwey, called on the Ministry to put attention to proper job definition and description, alarming that many business proprietors have no knowledge corresponding to their professions, which leads to mismanagement and price inflation. We cannot have so many, so many private sector associations and organizations representing the same members. To come to the point that you're talking about, uh, what is, who is, what, where is there an umbrella of the private sector? We are one nation, but we cannot have so many organizations. And we have told that why? When you have al munazama tutar, when we have that why? The whole munazama would have a certificate from the Kajir Wahid. في كل منظمة وكل أسوسيشن دائرة كل سبب سبب كده من تاج الواحد سواء بيت فعلدة نت فعلدة نت فعلدة نت فعلدة أي بي من هنا في مكتبة هنا ده كل شهادة من 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 هنا له هنا ده كل شهادة من أقوما it doesn't work like that it has to be organized تجار بتاعي تبانين من جمادة في شكاوى كتير جدا ده كل نتيجة من شو ما يصير الوزير ده نتيجة عدم دستور وعدم قوانين. إنت بديكو أتانا بعملو بطاقة وين يقول إنت نبطاقة نحن مسجلين نحن منظمين نحن فحصل الحمد لله إتجاب الكلام ده بالله ناس النقابة تأمان ده تحت الأمر بتاع شو ناس النقابة تأمان ده ناس المسجلين والكلام ده بس قام ولو بس بطاقة بعملو في 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 كونا كونا ولا في تاركور تا 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 إيش هذا تا لوبليا تا اللي يقولوا كذا. In the meeting, representatives of various businesses in Juba and across the country also raised complaints about the dilemma in tariff collections, as they say it's not clear who is responsible for the exercise as many different hands have involved in taxation, which they say provokes price inflation in the markets. To pave a smooth road ahead, Minister James has assured heads of private sector businesses that the ministry would take necessary measures with other line ministries to ensure that public service laws are strictly enforced to support and protect their businesses in the country. Eddie Stephen, SSBC News. Today is 19th of April 2019, which is my Good Friday in the Christian calendar. 
Let's go for a news break. We shall be right back. National Security Council Committee discusses the political situation in Sudan. The Transitional Military Council in Sudan receives a message from President Kiir. And Minister of Labor calls on strengthening the private sector to provide job opportunities. You will come back from that break. The governors of Northern Liege, Dr. Joseph Muntwil, and of South Liege, Stephen Tekariak, disseminated peace messages in Lier. The two governors and an SPLAIO representative, Brigadier General Tor Tungwar, urged communities to own the revitalized peace agreement and support its implementation. They called on civilians who are still in the UN camps to return home. The Northern Liege State Minister of Information, Lam Tungwar, explains the outcome of the rally. Legislators representing Bay State are disseminating the revitalized peace agreement to their respective constituencies. Legislator Michael Woodcorum, representing Nyeru County, said the people of Bay State have expressed commitment to implement the peace deal. On her part, Nyanyang Johnson, who represents women in Nyeru County, said the people of Bay State are expecting to receive the country's top leadership in their state. Meanwhile, the acting governor of Bakobo State, Kan Ye, appreciated the leadership of the country for restoring stability. Salam al-Munashat, Ennu, Assalamja, 
ولقينا الناس بتاعنا رحبوا بالسلام ولقينا استقبال الحفاوة كبير من قبل الحكومة بتاعنا والأجهزة الأمنين والمواطنين بتاعنا من الشيخ والشباب والمرة فلما وصلنا هنا عملنا لقاء كبير في القاعة بتاعة الولاية هنا في واط فالناس بتاعنا رحبوا بالسلام الناس بتاعنا رحبوا بالسلام والناس بتاعنا كما تعلمون أن المنطقة بتاعلو عندهم بعض من المشاكل وان الناس اللي عندهم مشكلة بتاعت موية لقينا المنطقة كما معلوم للناس بتاعنا في جمهورية جناب السودان كله Uh, we are actually uh, so grateful to the government of BA State. We have been welcomed by the, the deputy governor, who is the acting governor also. And today we had a big rally in Freedom Square here as the people of BA State, as well as the law near the whole community. Uh, the message that has been given to us by our people, the people of BA State and law in general, that there are challenges that they are facing. Some of them has just been said by our colleague Honorable Michael, and one of their requests is that uh, during the, the war of the last four years, the area has been affected by so many things. And as our president is going to visit the whole of uh, Greater Hapanai region very soon, they are requesting President Kir also to visit what as one of the area so that he see what is happening in the area by him. My audit, my salam Allah, Amulo, Pijinup, uh, State of Salam, Al Fijinup. أنا بذكر شاب تابية وأكوبا بجيب في سلام ده سلام ده نينا فوق في وات ما في قطع لكن نينا ما شاب تا لو نينا ما شين كويس في سلام ده السلام الليلة في 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 ناس الجو في جوبا لقينا في وات Governor Ta Angela Taban Biagio said the government and the people of our state are committed to implement the revitalized peace agreement to bring an end to conflict in the country. Governor Biagio was addressing a peace rally organized by the state SPLM secretary to disseminate peace messages to the population. The governor said his administration supports the 35% women representation in public institutions and acknowledged the role played by women in promoting peace. The SPLM secretary in the state, Valentino Majuk Majuk, said the party members are spreading peace messages to communities across the state. I see making an action to the national party, Sergei Alainu, Salamda, who was if you are. I see making an action to the national party, Sergei Alainu. And let's hear them. Let's be up to the Makana Betao. The Wau Hina, the Kulu Mahal, the Daya Ben, my brother Sergei Hina. The Isim Al Huria and the Muratia, the Isim Al Arada Shabia, the Tahrir Sudan. The Sayyid of Aiz, the Tahrir Sudan. وحاكم بتاع ولاية واو قبر الرجل التعبان في أيو إحنا نظمنا كالحركة الشعبية ولاية واو الندوة ده عشان نجد نلتقوا مع المواطنين بتاع الحركة الشعبية نجد نديهم رسائل بتاع السلام وإذا يدارين ندي رسائل السلام بالنسبة لإقراعتين للحضور الموجود الحضور الموجود بتاع تاج سعادتك And the new Upper Nile State members, Ministers of Agriculture, Local Government, and Rural Development took oath of office before Governor Awer Dawagany in the state capital rang in this week. Speaking to SSBC, that the State Advisor on Security Affairs, John Jirwa Gaffer, said the state government is making every effort to ensure people enjoy the dividends of peace. Jirwa called on the people of Northern Upper Nile State to embrace peace, reconciliation, and unity. دارين نحل المشاكل عشان نلقى مجال نفكر كويس ونقدم خدمات أفضل بالنسبة للناس بتاعنا الولاية الولاية بتاعنا كلنا 
كلنا هنا مشتركين في في تنمية بتاعه مناطق الثلاثة هو المسلك بتاع الولاية ملوط ورنك ومبارك فأي محل أنت مشيت فوق أنت أنت من الولاية نحن دايرين ننسجم ونشتغل شغل الممكن يرفع ولاية هكذا الأشياء اللي بيحصل معنويات اللي بيحصل من معنويات الناس نحن دايرين نهارو في محل ده نحن حكومة and that's all SSBC have for you this afternoon. I'm Elizabeth Akulda Malad. I wish you all a happy Easter holidays. Stay tuned for more programs.